Hi everybody, it's Dandro for the Reduced Cartridge for Tuesday, June 6th, 2017. Don't forget everyone that next week is E3 and the schedule is going to be a little bit different. Plus then I'm going to be taking the week after off. Today's news begins with a free game. Outland is currently free on Steam until Thursday morning. Go pick that up and it's yours forever. Guardians of the Galaxy, the second episode from Telltale has released today. Be sure to update your game on your platform. A Fable card game was announced today, but Lionheart Studios, of course, will not be involved. Instead, Flaming Foul Studios and Media Tonic will develop the game, which releases on July 11th for PC and Xbox One. The Swords of Ditto was announced today from Devolver Digital, which is an action RPG with a great art style, and I can't wait to play it. Sony officially announced today the Gold and Silver Edition PS4s, along with the temporary price drop to $249.99 US dollars, but that is currently only available in the US starting on June 9th when they both release. Moving on from release announcements, there is a bug with Sombra in Overwatch that seems to have gotten worse since the anniversary update. There is an issue causing her to take damage damage after she's activated her teleport ability to return to her translocator. No one is quite sure what is going on here, but this issue has been tested and is not related to ping, something that would normally account for this behavior. This has been going on for months now, and Blizzard has yet to find a solution. Good news for those who are waiting for the Steam sale, but want to spend money right now. GOG has started their sale, where you can pick up DRM-free versions of your favorite games with huge discounts. They said this would take a while, but now Gearbox has caved, and Battleborn has gone free to play. You will still have to pay for the co-op story mode and other multiplayer modes, you can only play competitive multiplayer for free. Up next, we got some more stupid shit that Sony's saying, but from a different person, one Sean Layden. Mr. Layden claims that his company has no concerns that the Nintendo Switch will outsell the PS4 because he believes that most people will just buy both. I remember back when I was a kid and a console gamer, we only had one home console in the house. That's just how my family operated. My parents were not going to buy any more. So it wasn't until I had my own money and I bought a GameCube and a PS2 at the same time, but I had bought the PS2 second. No, I don't represent the whole group, but there are plenty of gamers out there who are only able to afford one system, be it PC or console, until they start making their own money and are able to afford more than one platform. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think he's right and you would happily buy two consoles, or if you think most people only buy one and are an example of that. And that brings us to our final topic today, which is Nintendo announcing Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, releasing later this year on November 17th worldwide. What a boring name. They may as well have just gone with Sun 2 and Moon 2. For a brief moment in time, Nintendo Switch owners rejoiced because it was announced for both 3DS and Switch. However, due to a clerical error, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are only releasing for 3DS, not for the Switch at all. The Switch will not be neglected though because Pokken Tournament has been announced for Switch in the form of Pokken Tournament DX, releasing on September 22nd. This version will come with all DLC characters included, which is not only upsetting to owners of Pokken on Wii U, who had to pay extra for all of that content, but trainers are still seeking a true home console Pokemon experience, something Nintendo has not delivered since the franchise began more than 20 years ago. There isn't much known about Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon because we only get a glimpse of them at the end of the trailer for Pokken Tournament, but we are almost guaranteed to see something next week at E3. The last announcement was for Pokemon Gold and Silver, released to the 3DS Virtual Console, which gives them full Pokemon Bank support, allowing easy transfer to the new Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Moon. Not only that, but you could trade and battle between the red, blue, and yellow Virtual Console versions too, and they released the same day as Pokken Tournament, September 22nd. Do all of these announcements give you Poke Fever? Well, if you caught it, then please stop by the nearest Poke Center because it's contagious and you don't want to get anybody sick. But if you're excited for the new Pokemon games, then let me know in the comment section down below. Or let me know your frustration because Nintendo didn't put out a proper Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch. All of these are proper games, it's tomorrow's game releases. For PC, Crimson Earth, New Frontier Days, Founding Pioneers, and Monolith. For Xbox One, Super Beat Zonic, Zazen, and Refunked. Thank you very much everybody, this has been News Cartridge, I am Dandruff, I will see you tomorrow. And for a school presentation, I hacked into the school server. Teacher gave me a C++. So I think I am one of those people who is kind of upset that a proper Pokemon game isn't uh, coming to Switch. I would like to see it, but I never had my hopes up in the first place. I'm not really disappointed in something that I didn't, that I knew wasn't going to happen. I don't know why Nintendo refuses to do it. They've been able and capable, and you know they've had the, the technology power since the days of the Nintendo 64 to pull off a proper 3D home console Pokemon experience. I I will be adamant of that. They could they could have put it on the Nintendo 64. They could have put it on the um, they could have put it on the GameCube. They could have put it on the Wii. They could have put it on the Wii U. They can put it on the Switch. 
I don't know why they don't. And and I don't want them to put on like, you know, a bigger version of a 3DS game. I want a full console home console experience. That's what I want. But I I I mean, I've wanted that ever since Pokémon came out. I mean, for some reason it's been tied to their handheld market, which I mean, everything seems like their handheld market and their home console market are still merging. The 3DS, I mean, I know there's a new 3D, the 2D, the new 2DS that came out, but still, it's there. That technology is six years old. What else, What more are they going to get out of that? How long is the 3DS going to be alive? Uh, at one point, are they just going to need better hardware? This is coming up soon. It, it, I, I know it. I, it has to be. Uh, I think the 3DS is going to go away. The the Switch will will handle both the, the handheld and the home console market. It's definitely capable of doing that. I don't know anybody who would say that they won't. It wouldn't, so, or that it wouldn't. But I'm tired. Um, I need to go edit this and uh, do all that crap because editing is fun. Yay, and I was up till 2 a.m. editing last night, because that's how editing goes sometimes. <sighs> um, don't forget, uh, next week, E3, I know, I know I've been dri driving that home to everybody, but, um, it's really, like, if everybody's just like, why are there shows on Sundays? Where's regular news cartridge? I don't know where any of those things went. Like, I, I told you plenty of time, I told you plenty, plenty of time ahead. Um, there's going to be about, there's going to be two shows a day uploaded. I'm going to try to get them up as soon as I can after the conferences happen. I would recommend watching E3 for yourself and then coming back and watch my show as like an after show of like a recap of, Hey, I remember that thing. Aha, Dad was made fun of it. Um, and then we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. I, you know, um, it's a different format. It's a little bit looser because all I kind of do is just watch the show and I take my comments and I give them a witty dry humor to what's going on. Um... Half of my jokes don't work anymore because Aisha Tyler's not going to be there. Thank you. All of my material's gone. Uh, I'm just playing. I didn't have any jokes written for Aisha Tyler. She's wonderful. I She's wonderful, really. She is. I kind of rip on things just for comedic effect, and I don't really mean it. She's she's a wonderful person. I, I, I would assume she's a wonderful person. She's a great actress, great voice actress, lovable character um, in her that she plays. I don't mean she's a character. I don't. What am I doing? I'm ending this end card right now because we've only got four minutes left and I don't feel like doing a long end card today. Yay, Pokemon stuff! I may get Pokemon Gold for my Game Boy or for my 3DS. That'll be fun because that'll be, that'll be cool to play through that again because Gold and Silver were my favorite ones. They're the last ones that I uh, got through all of the way. I, actually, no, I got through X and I got through X all the way. No, Black. I got through Black all the way. White. White. I got through white all the way. I don't have black. I have white. Thank you, everybody. Social media links are over here. They're also in the top of the description down below. And don't forget to click over here if you want to subscribe to my wonderful Pokemon Love and Channel. And click over here to watch yesterday's episode where we talk about the secret doctrine and it being on Steam. And it's no longer on Steam. It got taken down while I was filming. Ha ha, you fuckers. You thought you could get away with it, but you didn't. Bye!